Hey guys, we're about to get started. Thank you for jumping on, hopping on. All right, guys. All right, we're about to get started, guys. I'm going to let y'all log on. Let me know that you are logged on, guys. Let me know that you have been logged on, please. Say, hey, Darren, what's up? All right. We're going to go this exit. Again, I want to thank everybody. I want to thank everybody that's joining me today. As you can see right here by the title, this is the Ignite Dreams, Touch Your Dreams, Vision Board Party uh, next Friday, y'all. So I thank y'all. Hey, Miss Kim, thanks for joining. So we are about to go ahead and get started in this moment, guys. And so please share and invite and make it a little smaller. Y'all can see <laughs> All right, guys. We want to thank everybody for watching this. I'm just going to pick it up right here. I got to look over here every now and then. Just look at the comments. Uh, my phone. So, guys, I thank everybody for joining. We're going to talk about three uh, things you need to be obsessed with in 2000. And, um, I think. Do y'all believe that we're going in 2018? Can share, let me know that you're here. And we are going to get started in just a moment, guys. I'm going to put the final pictures on this. All right, guys. Hey, 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 y'all. This is the wild hustle. Why do you hustle? Hustle, work. This is the wild hustle. Why grind? This is why I work. I ain't hustle for nothing. I told my girl that I have it out ready today. All right, guys. I hope you want to enjoy today, and thank you guys for watching. Also, all right, guys. I want to thank everybody who joined in. It's your girl, Sarah. On this Thursday with your girl Theron, guys. So please share this out. This is Thursdays with your girl Theron. Uh, it just rhymes, it sounds catchy. And so I like it. So that's what I call it. Thursdays with your girl Theron. So we're going to be talking about three things. Three. Three things to be obsessed with. So as we're coming in, if you, um, if it's your first time, I hope it's not your first time, but please share this broadcast out, Sharon. Sharon, you never know who might need this information that we're going to drop on today. Okay. So, guys, so let's go ahead and go with number one. The number one thing you want to be obsessed with is your vision. Okay, guys, you want to be obsessed with your vision for 2018 your vision and your mission. I'm not sure if you have a mission statement, if you have a mission book, um, it's something that you need to go ahead and start getting down with only one day 21. So with 10 more days left of the year, I really want you to go ahead and think about your mission and be obsessed with your mission. Um, I'm so glad I was able to talk to a few of my girlfriends on today. 
you know, it's a good thing when you're able to talk to friends and the true friends. You know, the true friends when y'all ain't got to talk every day. Like, you don't, you don't talk to them every day. Sure, you don't even talk to them every, you don't even talk to them every month. But you know, when you get on the phone and when you get on the phone, you talk to them, it's like y'all have not skipped a beat. So I want to thank to all of my friends that I spoke with today. I had one friend, I know I ain't talked to her in a good little bit early this year, but she called me and we were able to connect her. We will have that girl's trip out next year guys um so again what you want to do is number one is your mission for 2018 what is your mission what do you want to what is your main mission like yes shabria yes you can work on your mission book <laughs> yes work on your mission book you need to work uh oh yeah on your new mac mac you like your mac girl you're going to be obsessed over your Mac. That's what you're going to be obsessed with. <laughs> um, so your mission for 2018 is very, very important. What do you want to um, accomplish? Your mission. At the end of the day, this is what I I, I, I put in the, in, in the mission books. If you watch my other video, we talked about it. I don't have my current one yet out. But this is the two. This right here says 2000 and. 17. But one of the things that I ask um, people that I, I support and work with is one of the questions is because you want to begin with the end of mind. And here it is. What results am I looking for at the end of the year? It, all right. Yes. <laughs> what results are you looking for for at the end of the year? Do you want to come become more spiritual? Mature a certain size, more clients, have more people on your team, have more subscribers on your YouTube, your email list, um, read so many books, have classes consistently. What is it that you want your 2018 to look like? Your mission, right? And with that mission, you need to have a yeah, your yearly action plan. And just generic, you can have just gen a generic. All this mission book is is a generic plan. You can later on become more, like I did this for April. You can later on become more um, more specific and more detailed uh, in it once you know your mission. Mm -hmm. Once you can ask yourself at the end of the year, what have you, what, what would you have want to accomplish at the end of the year, okay? Number two. Number two is you need to be obsessed with your thoughts your words and taking action let's start with your thoughts you need to be upset and then it's like 2a 2a b and c but they all go together right so you need to be obsessed with your thoughts your words and taking action see our thoughts are very powerful folks say that yeah they don't understand how powerful they are but we are all we are energy beings and our thoughts and stuff uh form our words what you think about what you think about you speak about sometimes you know folks are, oh they, they 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 say anything that's on their mind so therefore your mind and your thoughts are very powerful you need to think about what you're thinking about like you think about all the negative stuff uh happening or all the negative stuff that is what you're going to speak about all the time have you met a negative person like they talk negative, they speak negative, they just do a lot of negative things. And one, you can see it up, you can see it upon their persona. You can see it upon their face, the negativity, right? They walk around with, I'm going to take this off right now. Uh, all right, here we go. They are sitting there walking around with, with, with a lemon face and stuff like that scrunched up and they just, looking like this you're like what wrong they are like nothing wrong that's how they look because all the years of the negative thinking and the negative talking and the negative action so you need to think about what you're thinking about like before you say something out your mouth you need to think about it and think used to have an acronym but i know the i stands for it. is it is it nice and is it kind or is it necessary it's, and is not is not nice and the word think it stands for is it necessary and so the next part of your thoughts your words your action 
You need to be obsessed with taking some action, doing something toward your business or towards your hustle, right? You need to take some type of action step. You need to have a plan of action. And a lot of people, they have these thoughts, they have these ideas, but they don't go for it because they're all over the place with their with what they want to do. So they're all over the place with what they want to do. So therefore, what? Guess what they they guess what they do, they they don't do or they do. They don't do anything. <laughs> is that you? Is that you? You you got so many ideas, so many thoughts. You don't know where to begin, so you don't do nothing. Remember, nothing from nothing leaves nothing. So you want to be able to take some type of action step for two thousand and eighteen, guys. And number three, this is going to be quick, but we're going to recap. We're going to recap. I'm just looking over here, guys. So give me a moment. Okay. So number three is your hustle. How you survive through life every day, guys. And I want to read a um, snippet of one of my clients' books. It's called... Um, It is called, it is called, um, Hustle Now, Play Later. And so, um, hustle, man, how you survive through life every day. So are you surviving? And I want to ask you, what activity are you currently engaged in? What provides you with necessary income to make it through each day? That's what hustle stands for, guys, for me. How you survive through life every day. So what is your hustle? Is your hustle your only job? Is that the only thing that's going to help you survive through life every day, that, that one income? You need to be obsessed in your hustle. Like, how? How? What? And then what? If your job were to let you go, and then what? Would you be would you be desperate looking for something else? And then once you get in that the, the mode of desperation when you're looking for a job and you don't want to do, you'd be mad at yourself. You'd be mad at the freaking world because you got something that you don't really want. You don't really want that job because your other job lets you go and you didn't have another hustle. How you survive through life every day. Please don't allow that job that you have right now that couldn't let you go because the jobs ain't loyal. They cut you off like a bad habit sometimes. You need to be obsessed with getting another hustle. How you survive through life every day. And all of us are this. There's another source of fun. That you don't have to be off a job taking your time for money. We were doing that one time. You don't need to do it again. At the same time, leverage your job, right? Because you never know what. Yes, thank you, Sadina. Oh, yes, I'm going to put you on the, um, Sadina has it. Oh, it's so big, Sadina. Let me make that smaller. The overlay is so huge. Let's say. So, Sadina is, look, she is our folks today. She has answered some of the stuff that's. Um, are uh, they are all three right there? Um, the last one is the hustle. You need to be obsessed with it. Like, be obsessed to the point that you don't know what folks are talking about when it comes to TV. Thank you, Sadina. You should be so obsessed, like, with all of these. Your mission for 2018, your thoughts, your words, and your actions, and your hustle. That you don't even have time to click on that television over there. Like when I go into my bedroom or when I go to the house, like cut this TV off. Cut off the extra noise, guys. We don't need it. I'm not sure. And then right here, this thing right here, this thing right here can this thing right here can get you going because you can get scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And then um
Uh, I'm sorry. I just read an email. <laughs> okay, guys. So, um, you can get through and be what I call in the scroll la la land, right? You be scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And before you know, 30 minutes has passed, right? But you have to maybe set a timer. I got to get, I got to get better at that too, guys. Uh, maybe set a timer that you only are like every 10 minutes of every hour is when you go through Facebook, check on updates. And then maybe the next, next 10, next hour, you check through Instagram um, up, updates and stuff like that. But guys, you're going to have to be, those three things are the three things that you need to be obsessed with. Because this, and this is what I, my belief. You're here to make an impact, right? To make an impact where you're at. And we have a lot of distractions. One of the distractions is the television. Oh, the people love to call it the hella vision. I point out there because my TV's over there. But um, the TV can get you distracted. At work, I hear people talking about, oh, did you watch this show? Did you watch this show? Or this Netflix, this Netflix. I'm like, God dang. I mean, I must be weird because I don't know half of them shows. <laughs> I don't know half of the stuff that they're talking about. And then I feel weird because I still haven't finished Power. I still, yes, I still have not finished the Power season. But I'm on, uh, I'm on a mission. This is my book, guys. One of the things that you need to get a book. I got two. I'm not going to go over there. I'm not getting up. But uh, right here. I write out, oh, I did write it out. I write out a lot of my stuff. Like today, I actually wrote out. I actually wrote out some of the um, stuff that I want to accomplish. And the monetary thing, guys, you need to have a set a monetary goal, right? How much money do you want to make? See, you set a target so you can aim for something. If you don't aim for nothing, you're going to be aim. Uh, I'm trying to find it, guys. You're going to just be aimlessly going and not have a target. So you want to set a target. You want to set a goal. I'm trying to find it, but that's okay. You agree, uh, Sadina? Yes. So right now, what I've done for me, from I want to show y'all. Let me see if I can show y'all. Okay, here it is. Yeah, I did do it right here. I ended up having extra stuff. Hey, Dana, thanks for joining. Okay, so this is what I came up with, guys. And this is just me personally. Y'all yeah, can see that. Um, Like, I decided, okay, since my business has three divisions in it, so you got you to gotta, you gotta be purposeful, right? And so my goal is to make a certain in my photography and a certain in your girl theron products. Um... And I can't give you all my stuff, right? Because <laughs> uh, I want to move in silence. And so I have my kind of what I want to make. Um, and then my business development, um, what I want to do. So I have my January goal. I have a January monetary goal. And I'm going to do this through three ways, three different streams, right? And in February, I'm going to do the same thing. One, two, three. It's three different streams. But in March, honey, in March is where it blows up. In March, one, two, three. I have four ways. Four ways, four streams. I want to make some income in the month of March. April, one, two, three, four. I have five. So, guys, I need you again. We talked about, and I'm going to put uh, Sedina's, the one, Sedina, um, Sedina had it right here, the awesome tips, right? So, we're going to start with number one again. Number one was to be obsessed with your mission, your mission and your vision. First of all, you have to have one. And when I work with my clients one-on-one -on -one in my formationally, uh, my formationally you accountability program, which I offer, it's coming back in January. Um, we go over this mission book right here. As you see, Sabria said, now I can work my mission book. So she's one of my clients and she had did a mission book last year. And we're gonna work, she's gonna work on the mission book for this year. So all the mission book is, is just a simple way for you to get what's in your out, what's in your head out and to really have a plan of action. And so we go, we have our, this is your letter to, look at this. 
But don't look at that. Something spilled on it. <laughs> but yeah, that is what we're doing with this one. How about that? Yeah, y'all see that. So it's a letter to yourself. And then you have your accomplishments, which you accomplished. Like 2010 was like, ooh, what else? Seven years ago, I, I was doing body magic. So I can tell you what I was doing. I was doing body magic. I had my website there and be. I posted a few videos on YouTube. I bought my... I bought a video camera from the, I think I got some pawn shop. I had a business professional Facebook, a business professional Facebook page. I had a fan page. I started training in Photoshop. I learned how to do eyebrows. I did some for people's makeup. I learned about makeup and skincare. I joined, um, yeah, come on with it. T Cameron. Yes. <laughs> y'all, what do y'all want? Wouldn't y'all like to know how to clap back professionally? The professional clap back? Yes, it's coming soon from um someone. Hint, hint. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get that T Cameron coming up. Um, I did a grat, I, I did a grat, I did GYIT. I did a gratification or gratitude challenge, and I started a YouTube challenge, and I actually read eight books. In 2010 so once you do your mission book guys once you do your mission book um, and you have your accomplishments your commitments um, you have um, a kind of routine because I know that structure discipline and routine is very important which I don't have and so I'm trying to implement um, <laughs> look at Tanika <laughs> I'm trying to get some structure some discipline and some routine I'm trying to get some folks to help me out that are very very do very well with um pr uh procedures and processes hint hint uh to help me with my procedures and processes for their enterprise and really trying to give me some um i'm not gonna name no name name began with a t last name began with a h to help me uh with my procedure and processes because i need some structure i need a little bit more discipline and a little better routine i have a routine but I need to improve my routine better because my routine varies with the routine. I do get up, I do get dressed, I get my warm water, and I go to work. That's routine, right? So um, <laughs> I need help with that. Um, what to make say? But uh, I have my January monetary go, guys. The songs went off. Okay, so I have my January uh, monetary goal, my February, and each time I am increasing, right? And that's because I, I, ha I have a plan and I have a strategy. And so number one, you want to get in line and you want to be obsessed with your, I'm going to be obsessed with doing this. One lady said, if you have this thing, you had a monetary goal, you don't need to stop, you don't need to go to bed. I don't know about that much until that daily monetary goal is is made right so if you have a book i'm not sure if any of y'all have books if you have a book and your goal is to sell what a hundred books okay a hundred books a month that at twenty dollars that is two thousand dollars that could be coming down your pipeline and if you have a book twenty dollars times a hundred books is two thousand dollars you need to sell 25 books a week it's seven days in a week so you need to sell about three ish I mean, four, give and take side, right? Yeah. Four, four on the, or give and take day or something like that. Three, three minimum and maybe four to surpass. Maybe three some days and four just one day or whatever, or two days. And you'll reach that goal of selling 25 books per week, right? Online and offline, right? So that's how you kind of set your goal, 2000 a month or whatever your goal is. And if you just have one product, which is your book, you need to sell at least three of them books, three to four books a day. Especially when you're out and about, you need to, oh, my coach, you need to always carry, always carry your books, right? I'm just thinking about something myself, guys, so don't mind me. Mind me, but don't mind me. All right. Don't fall! Cause I moved my computer. There we go. 
see this this thing keep messing up right here though. But um anyways, I hope this has helped you um for your 2018 goals. My thing is I want y'all I want y'all to uh buy. Buy your business. Buy. And buy stands for to what builds, ignite, and explode. So in 2018, if you have not built your basic foundation with your social media presence in your business, you need to build it so you can ignite it and then you can explode, right? In 2019, guys, it takes some time to build. You have to build that. If it, this is like a firecracker, you got to build that platform. You got to get your firecrackers. You had to get your lighters and get everything. And then you have to use what's in your hands to ignite it, right? Use what's in your hands to ignite that firecracker or the fireworks. And then it sizzles, it ignites. And then what? Boom! It explodes. You have that big old thing, right? So, but they, at the, but in the very beginning, they have to have that foundation. And that's what you need to develop your foundation and so you can ignite it. And what I mean by that is your foundation is you need to get all your social media's, um, handles correct meaning your all your social media handles need to be the same and consistent so folks can find you on facebook instagram youtube and whatever else that you want to use and periscope i use periscope um you want to build that consistent foundation you want to be able to um consistently go consistently do your live and whatever your consistency is on your lives then that's your consistency. Now you can you might not can be like me and come out here or come out here every day or at least three times a week. Uh, you might not be able to do that, but whatever your consistency will allow you to do, if you just do it every Monday or every Tuesday, or every Thursday with your girl Farron on here. Y'all know I come on here on Wednesdays with women winning in business. And I'm coming on here on Thursdays. I don't know about every Thursday, but I'm gonna come here on Thursdays. With your girl there, I'm gonna start doing my webinars on Thursdays and my online workshops and stuff on Thursdays. Thursdays with your girl there, so I might not be able to come on here as often as um I would like to come on here. Um, but yeah, um, I just lost my thought, but that's okay. oh, building, building your foundation. Um, being consistent with how you show up. Now, I show up more here on Facebook than I do Instagram, and I'm trying to get back at the Instagram. Um, but this is this is this, this is, now this is my spot right here. Like Facebook, I love y'all. Facebook is my spot. Periscope is my spot. Um, it's, like if I'm gonna rank stuff, it'd be like Facebook, Periscope, and then Instagram. And then maybe YouTube in that order. So you need to know, you need to build your consistency on your social media platforms at your pace. Don't You can't go on and how everybody else goes at their pace. You can't go three, four times live um, because you have a job, a radio job. And so you can't go three, four times live today. I don't do that, but I'm just saying you can't go three or four times live, right? Um, so whatever your consistent building foundation is, Go ahead and do that. If you want to go once a week live every Wednesday on Facebook at um for lunch at twelve, and then um you go on Periscope every Thursday at twelve, and you know twelve o'clock is like your right time. Then go ahead and do it, and just be consistent to build, to build your audience, to build your community, and to build your foundation in your social media, right? You know, improving your social. Media. Um, and then you want to ignite, and what I mean by ignite is that you you, you build you building, but you got to build a momentum to ignite it so you start to to sizzle up, right? And how you do that? You do it more. Once you get it, you do more. You do what they're asking for and more. You do offline, um, and you build that relationship with people. You go on, you go, you slide into their DMs, you slide and, and ask them how they're doing. You engage. That's how you. Look, that's how you sizzle and, and, and ignite it. And then you, boom, you explode. Maybe the previous year, it takes some time to build, right? You take some time to build. A building does not go up in a day. A building does not go up in a freaking week or something like that. It takes time to build. 
And so, guys, it's your girl out there in here, um, your dream developer, aka social media, uh, <laughs> social media strategist, where I help um, the um, emerging business owner and startup mompreneur improve the social media presence by helping them to develop their social media presence um, and give them tips, tools, and strategies so they can what? Get more visibility for more profitability and more y'all like that profitability right and so right now i am focusing more on helping you to develop your um video marketing and your live streaming because live streaming is what's popping and video marketing is what is not going anywhere and so if you haven't already i, I do have a um i do have a um six weeks be visible um, live streaming and video marketing six weeks course, which already started. Sorry, can't join that one that we're on week two, but the next one will be, you'll be able to sign up, sign up for it soon or get on the waiting list um, because that one is going to be sold out, guys. I know it is. It's only going to be a limited amount of spots for that one, but um, that's okay. Um, you can get on the waiting list so you can get on that. All right, guys, I'm going to end this, and I thank everybody for watching. Everybody. Uh, watching the replay if you watch the replay hashtag replay let me know that you watched um and also guys i am having a um improve your social media presence online uh workshop slash webinar december the 28th right december the 28th um at 9 p.m eastern standard time so you'll be able to come on to that so you'll be able to come to that. And the link for that will be some, not here, but the link for that will be in the comment, guys. I am going to add that because I don't have the link. Um, the link, you know what? I'm going I'm to type it up. Let me go ahead and type it real quick, okay? So I can add. I know what the link's going to be. So let me go ahead and type it for y'all. Give me a minute. Don't you fall, light right now. Okay, guys, this is going to be the link right here. What says your girl? Go to yourgirltherm.com slash online SM webinar. That is online, online social media webinar. Okay, guys, to go ahead and get into my social media, uh, improve your social media presence webinar. That will be on next, look at my calendar. <laughs> that will actually be next Thursday. Thursday's with your girl there in webinar. I'm at 9 p.m. So you can go there in a moment, right here. Yes, right here. And go ahead and schedule that. Um, if you are in the Warner Robins area, guys, I am having um, this right here. Right here. There we go. What finger is that? Oh, this one. There we go. Right there. There we go. Um, I am having a Ignite Your, Ignite Your Dream, Start Your Dream Vision Board Party. We will have Arizona, uh, I think Arizona, and we'll have um, Natalie Allen will be in the house, the Transparent Mompreneur. We're going to have that at 158, I need to change the flyers, 158 South House and Lake Road Suite, number two, and it's only $10. It's only $10 for y'all to come on through. And enjoy guys um, I hope you enjoyed this right here and I'll see y'all probably not tomorrow but um, I'll see y'all again right here on Facebook if you don't follow me on Instagram or snapchat yeah you're, you're gonna need to that's where you get the behind the scenes um, move it that the way that's where you get some of the behind the scenes on my Instagram stories and my snapchat stories so all social media, I am your girl, T-H-E-R-O-N. And let me share that with you. Go, go, go.
So I'm getting ready to share with you. So if you want to connect with me, guys, um, I got this one more. There you go. If you want to connect with me on all and all the other social medias besides Facebook, you can go to your girl there and on Instagram.